Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I've got a story to tell you today, and it's about Jesus. Woo! Your saviour. The topic today is that God answers prayer. How about that? Amen. If you haven't had your prayers answered, you ought to listen to what I'm about to tell you. Because the disciple James, he said, The prayers of a righteous man availeth much. <coughs> and so that tells me that you need to be righteous for God to listen to you. Because if you've got sin, God pushes you away. He doesn't let you come near him. <coughs> so it's very important to know how to become righteous. Very important. Because what the Bible says that God is faithful to forgive. If you repent, he will deliver you from all unrighteousness. So that really means cleaning. <coughs> Jesus be with you. Likewise to you, brother. So we need to remember that God created us in his image. He declared his love for us. So God loves us all. He doesn't discriminate between different races of people. They're all man, according to the Bible. That's women as well, of course. Amen. <clears throat> so, desperate men do desperate things. So, under pressure, men turn to God for help. That's what that the coming tribulations all about is so men will turn to God for help because the times are going to be so sad and bad mm. uh, that the only way out is to cry out to God. <clears throat> but the Bible tells me in uh, Psalm 18 it talks about uh, about our enemies the unrighteous cry for help and there is no one to save them. That's why we're out here. We're out here so, so there will be somebody to save them. When they're in trouble, they need to know who to cry out to and how to become righteous. And so I simply say to you, as for me and my household, I will serve the Lord and I will sing praises to the Lord. And so I sing praises to his name. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> so the important thing is that God does answer prayer. Amen. There's so many accounts of answered prayer that I can uh, look back to. But I'm just going to say, uh, I'm going to read from uh, Psalm 18, 30. It says this. It says, as for God, his way is perfect. Amen. The word of the Lord is flawless. He is a shield for all who take refuge in him. So there you are, that's the word of God. He's, God is telling you that he will look after you, but you have your responsibility to make yourself right with the Lord. And so the gospel of Jesus Christ is what we're all alluding to, is because it's very important to hear and know this, that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whomsoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So that's how wonderful it is. But also, the Bible also tells us that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the grave, then you'll be saved. Well, I just want to put a qualifier on that. The Bible also says what comes out of your mouth comes from your heart. So God does honour what comes out of your mouth. Even though you might have a little trouble believing, God will act on it. And that's what we depend on, the faithfulness, the faithfulness of God to deliver people when they pray with us. And so the Bible also says uh, about being born again. It says, Jesus was saying, he said, I tell you the truth, I tell you the truth. Unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. goes on further to say that he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And so 
This is very important for those who think they're saved, believing is fine, but being born again is acting on the word because it talks about the sower and how he sowed the seed and the seed was so stolen that if you're born again, the devil can't steal what you've, your seed. So make sure that you're born again. That's your strength and so that you won't fall out of your faith. Very important. And so when you repent, I did say it before about God being faithful to forgive you if you repent. He will deliver you from all unrighteousness. So all those demons are kicked out. And so there's another scripture that says, uh, when an evil spirit leaves a man, or it comes out of a man, it wanders around in dry places looking for a place to rest. When it can't find anywhere, it says to itself, I'll return to where I came from. It returns, finds a house swept clean and put in order, and takes with it seven other spirits more evil than himself. <coughs> so the condition of that person is worse at the finish than what it was at the beginning. So the importance of it is, is that the strong man is the Holy Spirit. When he's in here, nobody can rob the house. So that, the Bible says this. I just want to confirm it for you, that it's a wonderful thing to be born again because the Holy Spirit is your comforter, he's your teacher, he leads you into all righteousness. And a wonderful thing, you enter into a personal relationship with God. Yes, sir. Now, that's pretty powerful. Now, imagine going up and having a personal relationship with the Queen of England or our Prime Minister, and God is far greater than, than all of those people that are on this earth that are ruling. And so you have a personal relationship with God. How wonderful that is. Wonderful. So thank you very much and God bless you.